Hello, my name is Nicholas Nikolic, and you are listening to the Android Book Tutorials. These tutorials are based on the Creative Commons work of Mark Murphy, who kindly releases versions of his book, The Busy Coder's Guide to Android Development, and as such, release Creative, is, and as such, release Creative Commons as well. I'll read from the book and go through the points directly. You might be warned at this time that I cover up to Android 4.4, whereas the original subscription book is updated on a quarterly basis and covers Android 6, N, and beyond. For completely current versions of Android, please purchase a subscription to Murphy's book at commonsware.com. So let's go ahead and open up the book. Version 5.3, which is the version of the book, supports through Android 4.4, The Busy Coder's Guide to Android Development by Mark L. Murphy. Scrolling through the preface, now scrolling through the table of contents, which is vast. Preface. Welcome to the book. Thanks. Thanks for your interest in developing Andro applications for Android. Android has grown from nothing to arguably the world's most popular smartphone OS in a few short years. Whether you're developing applications for the public, for your business, or organization, or are just experimenting on your own, I think you'll find Android to be an exciting and challenging area for exploration. And, most of all, thanks for your interest in this book. I sincerely hope you find it useful and at least occasionally entertaining. The book's structure subheading. Once upon a time, Commonsware published a few books on Android development. What you are reading represents a merger of those separate titles into a single omnibus title. To make the, to make the equivalent of 2,000 plus pages of material manageable, the chapters are divided into the core chapters in a series of trails. Just as an aside, this is Nick. Uh, we're going to be uh, recording those trails one at a time. Back to the book. The core chapters represent a ma many key concepts that Android developers need to understand in order to build an app. While an occasional nice-to-have topic will drift into the core, to help illustrate a point, for example, the core chapters are fairly essential. The core chapters are designed to be read in sequence and, we're, and will interleave both traditional technical book prose with tutorial chapters in the style of Commonsware former Android programming tutorials to give you hands-on experience with the concepts being discussed. Most of the tutorials can be skipped Though the first two, covering up, cover, excuse me, covering setting up your SDK environment and creating a project, everybody should read. The bulk of the chapters are divided into trails, covering some particular general topic from data storage to advanced UI effects to performance measurement and tuning. Each trail will have several chapters, however. Those chapters and the trails themselves are not necessarily designed to be read in any order. Each chapter in the trails will point out prerequisite chapters or concepts that you will want to have covered in advance. Hence, these chapters are mostly refer reference material for when you specifically want to learn something about a specific topic. The core chapters will link, in, link to chapters in the trails to show you where you can find material related to the chapter you must read. So, between the book's table of contents, this preface, the search tool in your digital book reader, and the cross-chapter links, you should have plenty of ways of finding material you want to read. You are welcome to read the entire book from front to back if you wish. The trails will appear after the core, co core chapters. Those trails are, re are in reasonably logical order, though you may have to hop around for a bit to cover all the prerequisites. And we will be 
this is back to Nick, out of the book. We will be uh, covering the trails, uh, covering the chapters from start to finish over the course of the next year. Um, I will be reading um, one chapter per day. Excuse me. Well, maybe I'll go one chapter per day. I'll be reading one chapter at least per week. And uh, I'll go through all, all of the tutorials uh, on screen so that you guys can see, uh, guys and gals, of course, can see uh, what's going on. <clears throat> so back to the book. The Trails. Here is a list of all the trails and the chapters that pertain to those trails. In order of appearance, except for those appearing in the list multiple times, where they can span major categories. Advanced UI. Introducing grid layout. Dialogues and dialogue fragments. Advanced list views. Action bar navigation. Action modes and context menus. Action bar compat the official action bar backport. Other advanced <coughs> action bar techniques. Implementing a navigation drawer. Advanced uses of the web view. The input method framework. Fonts. Rich text. Mapping with maps v2. Mapping with the legacy map view. Custom drawables. Animators. Legacy animations, crafting your own views, custom dialogues and preferences, progress indicators, advanced notifications, more fun with pagers, focus management and accessibility, second screens via the presentation, miscellaneous, miscellaneous UI tricks, event buses, home screen effects, Home screen app widgets, app based app widgets, adapter based app widgets, excuse me, data storage and retrieval, content provider theory, content provider implementation patterns, the loader framework, the context contract provider, the calendar contract provider, the media store provider, encrypted storage. Tutorial, upgrading to SQL Cipher, packaging and distributing data, media, audio playback, audio recording, this is a very long list guys, video playback, but it's going to let you know everything that's going to be in the future uh, year, using a camera via third party apps, working directly with the camera, media store provider, Security, encrypted storage, advanced permissions, restrict, restricted profiles and user manager, tap jacking, miscellaneous security techniques, hardware and system services, accessing location-based services, the fused location provider, working with the clipboard, telephony, working with SMS, NFC, device administration, Power Manager and Wake Locks, Push Notifications with GCM, Basic Use of Sensors, Other System Settings and ser Services, Dealing with Different Hardware, Integration and Introspection, Responding to URLs, Plugin Patterns, Package Manager Tricks, Searching with Search Manager, System Events, Remote Services and the Binding Pattern, Advanced manifest, manifest Tips, miscellaneous, miscellaneous Integration Tips, Reusable Components, Scripting Languages, The Role of Scripting Languages, The Scripting Layer for Android, JVM Scripting Languages, Testing, JUnit and Android, Monkey Runner and the Test Monkey, Testing with UI Animator, Automator, Gradle and the new build system. Wonderful. Introducing Gradle. Gradle and legacy projects. Gradle, excuse me, Gradle and the new project structure. Other tools. Advanced emulator capabilities. Using Lint. Using hier Hierarchy View. Using DDMS. Finding CPU bottlenecks. Finding memory leaks with MAT. Android development with IntelliJ IDEA. 
production, signing your app, distribution, tuning Android applications, issues with speed, finding CPU bottlenecks, NDK, improving CPU performance in Java, finding and eliminating jank, they call it, issues with bandwidth, focus on traffic stats, measuring bandwidth consumption, being smarter about bandwidth, issues with memory, finding memory leaks with MAT or MAT, issues with battery life, focus on MDP and TREPN, T-R-E-P-N, other power measurements options, alternatives for app development, the role of the alternative environments, HTML5, PhoneGap, other alternative environments, miscellaneous topics, anti-patterns, the widget catalog, adapter view flipper, calendar view, date picker, expandable list view, Seekmer, sliding drawer, stack view, tab host, time picker, view flipper, device catalog, Google TV, Kindle Fire, Barnes & Noble Nook Tablet, RIM Blackberry Playbook, next page, the Sony Smartwatch, Appendices, Appendix A, CWAC Libraries. About the updates, this book is updated frequently, typically once per month. Each release, each release has notations to show new or changed, compar changed compared with the immediate preceding release. The table of contents shows the sections with changes in bold italic font. Those sections have change bars on the right to denote specific paragraphs that are new or modified. Wear ascription. You hopefully are reading this digital book by means of a wear ascription, which of course I am not. This is book 5.3. Uh, the current book, uh, which covers 4.4 Android. Uh, the current book is I believe 7.2 and I plan on subscribing next year. The where, back to the book. The where description entitles you for the duration of your subscription to digital editions of this book and updates in PDF, EPUB, Kindle. I'm just going to read through this quickly. You also have access to other titles and commonware that commonsware may publish during this, that subscription period. Each subscriber gets personalized editions of all editions of each title. That way, your books are never out of date for long, and you can take advantage of new materials as they are made available. For example, when new releases of the Android SDK are made available, this book will be quickly updated to be accurate with changes in the, in the APIs. That makes it very valuable, guys and gals. However, you can only download the books if either you have an active description or until the book is updated after your wear description it expires. Hence, please download your updates as they come out. You can find out when new releases of this book are made available via the Commons Guy Twitter feed, the Commons blog, the wear description newsletter, which you can subscribe off your wear description page. Subscribers also have access to office, office hours, online chats to help you get answers to your Android application development questions. You'll find a calendar for these on your wear description page. Getting help. You, if you have questions about the book examples, visit Stack Overflow and ask a question tagged with Android and Commonsware. If you have general Android developer questions, visit Stack Overflow and ask a question tagged with Android and any, any other relative, relevant chat tags, such as Java. Big Book Bug Bounty. Find a problem in one of our books? Let us know. Be the first to report a unique concrete problem with the current digital edition, and we'll give you a coupon for six-month description as a bounty for helping us uh, deliver a better product. You can use that coupon when, to get a new description, renew an existing one, or to give a coupon to a friend, colleague, or some random person you meet on the subway. By concrete problem, we mean things like typographical errors, sample applications that do not work as advised, advi advertised in the book environment described in, in the book. I may have found an issue with grammar. Uh, factual errors that cannot be uh, open to interpretation. By unique, we mean ones that are not yet reported. 
Be sure to check the book's errata page, though, to see if your issue has been already reported. One coupon is given per email containing a valid bug report. We appreciate hearing about softer issues as well, such as places where you think we are in error, but we feel our interpretation, but where we feel our interpretation is reasonable. Places where you think we could add sample applications or expand upon the existing material. Samples that do not work during a shifting sands of samples that do not do work due to the shifting sands of the underlying environment. Yeah, for example, uh, changed APIs with new releases uh, of an SDK. However, these softer issues do not qualify for a formal bounty program. Questions about the bug bounty or problems you wish to report from bounty consider for, for bounty consideration should be sent to bounty at commonsware.com. Source code and its license. The source code samples shown in this book are available for download from the book's GitHub repository. All of the Android projects are licensed under the Apache 2 license. In that case, uh, in case you have the desire to reuse any of it. If you wish to use the source code from the Commonsware website, bear in mind that the projects are, are set up to be built by Eclipse. That's important. Many, uh, it's probably changed in uh, future versions. <clears throat> Many are also set up to be built by Ant from the command line. However, for command line builds, you will need to update and build files f to match your local environment. To do this, delete build XML in your directory, then run Android Update Project dash P from that same directory. See the GitHub repo homepage for more details. If you're using Eclipse, please do not import all the projects from the repo into your main workspace. There are hundreds of these projects, and they may cause your Eclipse environment to become very slow, particularly when starting up. Instead, import, import only those specific projects that you want to work with live, as opposed to simply reading about them in the book. Copy source code directly from the book in the PDF editions works best with Adobe Reader, although, you, although it may also work with other PDF viewers. Some PDF viewers, for for reasons that remain unclear, follow up copying in the source code to the clipboard when it is selected. Creative Commons and the 4 to free guarantee. Each Commonware's book will be available under, for use under the Creative Commons non-commercial share like 3.0 license as of the fourth anniversary of this publication date. Hence my reading this. This is uh, a, a, a four to free uh, uh, copy of the book. Uh, or when 4,000 copies of the edition have been sold, whichever comes first. That means that once four years have elapsed, perhaps sooner, you can ha use this prose for non-commercial purposes, such as essentially reading a YouTube audiobook like I'm doing. That is our four to free guarantee to our readers and the broader community. For the purposes of this guarantee, new wear subscriptions and renewals will be counted as the sales of this edition, restarting from the time that uh, the edition is published. Each edition of this book will be available under the aforementioned Creative Commons uh, license on November 1st, 2017. Of course, watch the Commonsware website uh, as, this as this edition might be licensed sooner based on sales. For more details on the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share-Alike 3.0 license, visit the Creative Commons website. Note that future editions of this book will be, uh, come free on later dates, each four years from the publication of that edition, or based on the sales of that specific edition. <clears throat> Releasing one edition under the Creative Commons license does not automatically release all editions under that license. Acknowledgements. I would like to thank the Android team, not only for putting out a good product, but for invaluable assistance on the Android Google Groups and Stack Overflow. I would also like to thank the thousands of readers of past editions of this book for their feedback, bug reports, and overall support. Of course, thanks are also out to, all the, to the overall Android ecosystem, particularly those developers contributing the, their skills to publish libraries, write blog posts, answer support questions, and otherwise contribute to the strength of Android. Part of, portions of this book are reproduced from the work 
created and shared by the Andros Open Source Project and used according to the terms based on the Creative Commons 2.5 attribution license. The core chapters. And that leads us to our first uh, chapter. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'll continue on. You guys will see that as a new video. But um, I'd like to thank you for listening, and uh, uh, we'll see you next time.